The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Some of you were here and heard him speak last time, and he is running for Senate against Heller and Berkeley. Yeah. David, you have the floor. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank um, I appreciate you having me back, and I appreciate being at the, uh, we call it the reclamation group, and I was looking over the the uh, mission statement, so um, it's, I, and I, and I admire the people in the Republican Party that are sticking with it and, and working through that, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm speaking to recovering Republicans, I, I'm not sure what you guys are going to do quite yet. I mean, if it works to stay with it and you can pull them back in, um, that's great. I mean, if you could pull them back towards the Constitution. Um, I, I thought it was interesting uh, that, um, you know, when I had, uh, just talking about appearance for a minute, I, and this is really important, um, in politics there's a specific look you have to look. and. Um, you, you have to be a certain way. And when I had long hair and a beard, um, some people said that I looked like Jesus. <laughs> Other people said I looked like David Koresh. Uh, but it wasn't until I looked like Ted Bundy that they would be comfortable <laughs> voting for me. <laughs> so I want you to be aware of that, that when you consider that this, this look, you know, Ted, you know, you think about oh, no. David Koresh and Jesus never killed anybody, but this is the look of of the modern mass murderer. If you think about it. So, if uh, I guess I can rightfully take my place and and uh, be voted in now that I have that that look. Um, so, uh, and, and and you you should be you know that's something we have to realize that it is these uh, this image uh, that if a politician looks so right they can pretty much get away with anything they want. So consider that. Um, but I'm, I'm okay with adopting that, that look if that really helps to work through the programming to deeper program people. So that's okay. Um, I wanted to, 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 to share something with you. Um, I actually have it right here. I wanted to show you my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you were born, you're standing there. This is my birth certificate. This, I don't think, is a trick question. I don't think this is intended to be a difficult thing for people to do, to be able to produce a valid birth certificate. So, and I don't have a problem, and I think that that's a good requirement for people to prove their identity. You know, unfortunately, we have somebody who, as a president, that can't do what I just did, that won't do it, can't or won't. Okay. And we got a bunch of cowards up there that won't do anything about it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a, it's a weird weird thing. It, it, you can't blame should... him. You can't blame him entirely, because you got 540, 545 people up there that are letting him get away with it. Yeah, and it's a, you're 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 curious as to the motivation. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because on our side of things, we see a lot of different movements. We see uh, different decisions, and we're, we're our tendency is to wonder. Um, about that. Now, another thing I wanted to show you just briefly is that one of the things I said is that I'm a sixth generation Nevadan, and so you can know exactly who I am and where I come from. Um, our 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 family history in one line is published, so you can actually trace and know exactly who I am, <laughs> that I am who I say I am. And I think that 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 um, that's another thing is we have leaders who can still. What's that? Did you write that book? No, my mother wrote it. Okay. She's a family historian. Oh, okay. He, he wrote she his wrote own. It. Okay. Yeah. I got you. And uh, got it published. So we've been here a long time. And um, now moving forward. Um, the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.